stopped all my fun of just throwing it up here and guesstimating. He has to be exact. And I appreciate that. I was going to slap corners up, just butt join it. He's going to do the 45 for me. I said, it's too much for me. It's, it, actually, it's too much bending because the saw is only about a foot off the ground right now. And I can't do that. How many did you get? I'm going to get five. I want five panels. Six would be great, but that's too much. Too much to do. But anyway, I'm going to take y'all along with me and show you what I'm doing. I'm not going to go buy a black hinges right now. Kevin said we've got a black doorknob somewhere. He's just got to find it. And uh, so right now I'm just doing this because this is what I did at my other house. You know, they want like $15 for a pack of like four of these hinges or something like that last time I looked. And you know what? Hinges don't get bothered. Not really. Nor do the screw heads. Or the switch plate. Now doorknobs, the paint will rub off of a doorknob if it's used excessively. But like this back door, no, it ain't gonna ever get touched. The one that goes on the inside. Kevin's opening a package from Donna Kay. They're very kind. I also got uh, two photographs on magnet from Susan Murphy. A while back, Kevin and I tried to do the, uh, you know, the farmer couple, the old famous, I think it's what, it's Whistler? I think it's what's, huh? Green Acres. No, I wasn't thinking of Green Acres. I was thinking of Whistler. <laughs> That's the difference of our brains. <laughs> And we got tickled because Kevin always makes that face anyway. <laughs> but Susan was so nice. She took them and she put them on the magnet. I love them. We needed something like that in here. That was a good good time for us. We, we had a good laugh. Thank you, Susan Murphy. Dear Jamie and Kevin, I was watching one of your videos and the razor blade kept getting lost, LOL. I went on Amazon and I ordered these for both of you. Kevin can go on, oh, Kevin can go on a belt or just clip to his pants pocket. The one for you I hope is easy on your hands to use, plus lots of extra blades. I truly love watching you and Kevin, take care. Sorry it's so messy, but my hands are hurting today. Your friend Donna. Donna, thank you. Hey, my hands hurt too, and I sometimes I just can't write. I write so rarely, it's a real struggle for me to write. That's awesome because... <laughs> oh, how nice. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. That is so nice. I will not lose. It's pink. You see the pink? Don't touch it, Kevin. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. Look at that. How nice. I shouldn't lose, I shouldn't lose that. No. It's almost like my knife. Oh, that is so nice. That, and you, you, Kevin wears a belt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he always wears a belt, so he can put that on there. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you get the idea of what it's going to look like. We, we thought we would do five panels, but it's going to interfere with the doorknob. So we are going to get to do six. I love the old six-panel doors. Now, I know this may look kind of silly to y'all, and I'm fixing to adhere it, and I'm going to caulk it really, really good because we've got a new battery-powered caulking gun uh, to show y'all. It's a 21-volt battery, too, y'all. And we, we were asked to review it, and it's just in time, too, because we need to seal up the seams <clears throat> on our metal roof out from, like, this area in the kitchen over to the other side of our bedroom because we had a leak one time here. We had, like, what, a four-day deluge from, like, a tropical storm or something off the Gulf. And then... Uh, <clears throat> We had another day of like just a torrential downpour all day. And I had a leak over my bedroom window. So we said, well, let's go look at the guttering. And that's one of the reasons we put the thing on the guttering. It's, it's right there. And I had, when we bought the house, I had seen where it looked like water had come in there before. And maybe even one other spot. And when Kevin was on the roof, some of the screws were a little loose. They need tightening. And so if they need tightening, odds are, well, let's see. They added on to this house in 2007. So this metal roof has been on this house since 2007. So we've got to get the right material to caulk the roof. And when they offered us that battery-powered gun, what a blessing for old hands to have a battery-powered caulk gun. So I said, well, let's do the door project because it's got to get done. And I really want to test out the color of the paint that I had from the other house because I didn't have the nerve at the other house to put it on my cabinets. I only put it on my doors and one bathroom vanity. I loved it. It was a hot trend a year ago. And I don't care if it's in trend now or not. I loved it. And I didn't have the nerve. I did a gray you can go back and see our video of um, looking back or whatever when we moved. I can't remember what it's called. You'll have to help me remember. I will try to link it uh, in the description so you can go see what I did. Um, I, I walked through the house the last time when we left. Y'all, all of this wood was the batten strips inside the cabin. I really ought to save some and put on the outside of the too. Too late, they're all gone. Just little bitty pieces. I think that's a, some of That's all right. We got wood we can put over some of those gaps on the side of the cabin. Some of the wood is just gnarled up, you know, and wool and wasp get in there and the dirt divers get in there. No telling what else gets in there. We do have spray foam and we haven't done it yet. We're waiting on the electrical and then we'll spray foam in all the holes and stuff. That looks good to me. What do you think? Yeah, they can't really see it. Uh, they can't see it, he says. Here we go. Let's go look. See? I don't see it when it's standing up. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it fixed. Cuss on the video. Kevin's cussing. Very quietly. Very 
Grab your thumb. I'm nervous. Don't shoot me. Don't jerk on it. The time we caulk it and we paint it, it ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Is it broke? It's a nail hole. It's a nail hole. Can you flip the sides? Flip it and see. Dead gummit, man. I guess I'll fill it in. Yeah. I'll fill it in and paint it. I'm sure it's not the only one. These were up on the wall. Well, you should be more observant. Do this one. I don't have any wood filler. I need to get some, though. I'm going to put knobs on the drawers that have pulls. Uh oh. Be yeah, it wasn't straight. It wasn't straight. Yeah. You sure? Yep. What is that? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> piece of styrofoam. That's a weird piece of styrofoam. It just shows up. No, it's out. Net. Tell me, tell me stuff. Here, hold it. I'll go get him. You goobered it up. Ow! No. Yeah, I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> you didn't know. I did too know. That's how well I know you. I know what you're going to do. Ready? Yep. Carried it off with you when you went outside to cut that other one. What do you need your tape for? Oh, here it is. Make sure I'm five inches. Texas five inches or Arkansas? Six inches. You know me. Little OCD? Maybe. See, I just put my hand between there, and it's like, okay, well, that's... I believe that. Yes, it works. Okay, go ahead. And... Where? The big one? The big one. I see it in your eyes Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in
a while back, if you'll remember, we got a pole saw, a battery powered pole saw that also comes off, lightweight handle, wonderful, and it was uh, C-Seal, I never say it right. C-Seal? You say C-C. C-C. And I say. We both say something different. Yeah. We're really jacking this up, Kevin. Where was, oh, there it is, C, C-C. Because it's, it's S-E-E-S-I-I. -I. Well, we got the pole saw from them, but we also got this cordless uh, battery-powered coffee gun. And like I said earlier, it's what we really needed to get up there on the roof and do things. It's really nice. We haven't taken it out. We do know that the battery's charged. I did look at it. And uh, here's the poker for the cough, which that's nice. I don't know if it stores on there. I haven't looked at the book yet, but it probably does store on there. But I'm gonna open my cock with this wonderful razor knife that I was gifted by Miss Donna Kay. And I'm gonna cut a really fine um, little angled hole. I don't want a thick thing of caulk. Anyway, this is a 21 volt caulk gun. And um, there, yep, okay. Now, I'm gonna, uh, don't let it get everywhere. <laughs> let me get a rag, I'm I gotta just, have a rag. I'm just getting it set up. I got a mess in this kitchen still. Is that going on? <laughs> it made contact, you can tell. Huh? I felt it hit the tree. You felt it hit? Okay, let's see. Can you move that where they can see what I'm doing? Let's see how this works. I guess I probably should test it on something first, but we'll just go with it. Yeah, it's going to take a minute to get the... Wow. Oh my gosh, how easy is that? And that is a bigger line than I thought that I would lay down, but I'm fine with it. But I gotta come to the other side to pull that and get that end filled in. So <laughs> apparently you can adjust your tension on the trigger because I just made a huge globby mess and this is a lot less globby of a mess. Right? Yep. You agree? Yep. Yeah. So it's the amount of pressure you actually put on the trigger. I'm waiting for the awful cock job I did to dry. Hopefully with the paint, you're not gonna be able to tell it. But as we go, um, I'm gonna show you the hole Kevin poked in the ceiling. And that hole was there. This right here has got to come off and we, we just know it's gonna be unfinished drywall with a beam because we know this was the wall they took out. So we've got to open it up and find out because we are going to repair over there, whatever we have to, and we'll repair here. We're going to repair there, repair all that. I hate drywall work, but here they have a box that they left open. We'll have to cover that up. So we do have some work cut out for us in here and getting rid of these lights. I'll probably try to do some can lights. Uh, I don't know. I really would like to scrape the ceiling. Good morning, everybody. I am up early on Wednesday morning because I'm a day late with this video. I'm going to show you all what I got to do to finish. I want you to see the paint on the door. I've already sanded this one. Kevin's asleep. I've got the door shut. <laughs>
a river in the dark You steer me right, you lit the spark And I can feel you tearing down every wall Red lips and gentle tears You must have been sent just for me Come one, come all Just when I need you You said sail and navigate But when I need you You lift me up to we levitate You're mesmerizing, hypnotizing My eyes are set on you Through the fields of young romance And under blue skies with an open glance We head over here with dreams Come all everything Just when I need you Well, that's one coat, y'all. Can you see it? <laughs> the light's really shining. But it is... It's exterior paint that I had for my doors. I'm just checking the color. I, I don't know that I'll stay with that finish. We'll see how it dries. It's, it's going to show the streaks because it really should be rolled on. But like I said, this is just to get the color. I'll buy the right paint and I'll paint it correctly. I'm not even going to, in fact, I'm probably not even going to paint the backside with this paint because I'll use the right paint when I get it. That's ridiculous. Oh. Look. That's a lot of nails for a piece of trim. Yeah, you're not in the video. So that's a lot of nails for a piece of trim. Huh. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen nails. For a little piece of trim. All right, get them side pieces off. And that end piece tell us that end piece will tell us a lot right there. Ah. Uh. But it's gonna be 20 feet long. Okay. If you'll notice the refrigerator, I moved it. It wasn't there when we moved in. They had a freezer there, a chest freezer. The refrigerator was over here with that cabinet. And that cabinet, no, that cabinet was there, it was just lower. 
But that cabinet was over here. Well, now if you'll notice, I've put this here. Here's my thought. Build a wall. This is my craft room, dump it all room. No door, just an opening. Build a wall. I can have my refrigerator. This is 35 inch, 34 inches. It's not 36. I have 36 inch doors on the other side of the house. This is a 36 inch door. I know that's real important to keep your doorways open, but I would do a wall, I mean literally, literally to here. And uh, case it in, case it in, and then I could even bring that cabinet over here if I wanted to. Probably won't, but I could. But the thing is, y'all, this island, it is a big, deep cabinet under here that I store a lot of my glass party stuff in. I don't really use it good. I have room for that stuff in my storage closet. And that's real hard for me to get to with this, see this long lip here? I always have to ask Kevin to get it. Okay, and so that's one cabinet, okay? This is one cabinet, and it's turned the other way. This is a very functional cabinet. They've never put knobs on it. It's got a pull-out in it for things, which I like. And I measured them. And they can go end to end facing this way, y'all. And they will go from basically, I don't know, maybe here. I think it, I measured it out. It was like from here over. I would have it stop here. So I have my walkway. This gives me a good working without a lot of steps. I don't like the dishwasher here. I want to put it back here. I haven't told Kevin that, but we're, we're probably, we're not going to do it, but I would like to have it there for my wash load, cook load, you know, but I think this will be really, really good use of this. And when I take this and make this a narrow island, it's going to come in and it's going to be long and narrow and I will still have the stools and I will still have a lip, but it will be a wood top. I don't, I don't like this. It's perfectly fine, but I don't like it. I liked the island I built at the other house. It was wide. I had it, I think it was 40 inches wide. And I could put the food out on that thing too. Let me tell you, but I also had a sink in it. I won't have a sink in this one. So I really like that. So it's going to come in. It's going to be here. So I will have room, like I said, for the seating. And then this is open right here. And we have this to deal with. Here's my thought. Here's my thought, y'all. Since we have such a mess, I would like to encase it with a full, like, six-inch board, make it a really nice enclosed, um, encased, you know, jet-out light thing, and do, do a pole down to here have a half wall right here, okay? And I, I would like to have uh, maybe, a, a, I, don't, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe 
some shelves built in it like a wall like comes out and I, and I've got a, uh, a little place to put stuff or I could do another uh, uh, countertop for seats. I really don't need that. I'd rather have decor. I'll have seats over here on the big island. But to use this, it's gotta stay open. It's gotta stay open. And I could do something really nice down here. And it would be a lot. So I'm thinking maybe shelves, maybe, maybe come over to here, come over to here, you know, split it up, drop a column down, maybe do some glass shelves with that light and fill it in. Okay. And then have another countertop here. Just, just coming out just, just a little bit for another couple of chairs. I think that would be lovely y'all. And then what that does is it, it comes out. Well, I have this table here and this table doesn't have to stay here. Y'all excuse all the stuff. This is reorganizing. Uh, a lot of it's going to go on my shelves when I get them up, but, uh, I have this table here. It's a decorative table. It doesn't have to stay there. It can go somewhere else. Uh, this doesn't have to stay here. I can take that out. I can move a light. I, I don't know. I'm going to leave the table here, I guess. I'll have that wall there. I'll still have plenty of room. I don't like having two ceiling fans in here, so can lights, I think, will probably come in or really nice. I need I need to change that to a dining room light of some sort or something. I don't know. I'm not worried about this. I'm, I'm not worried about all this side right now. I want to get a really pretty half wall glass shelves, book, bookcase shelves down here maybe. Nothing real deep, just something to put stuff on and have my pretties, because I like a lot of pretties. And it gives you the ability to, to, you'll be able to walk in and you can see, and then it opens. And then there's the wall, you'll just have to come around here and the long, narrow island will be here. <laughs> and that's gone, of course. Yep, I think I figured out a solution for the problem. I really do. Let's see what the old man says when he gets up. I guess I better fix him some breakfast, huh? The cop gun is a high speed, easy to use cock gun, but it puts it out fast. I should have never tried to use it for such a small, delicate little project. That is definitely a nice, a nice cock gun, but it is for big construction jobs, big things right. for fast work, cause it goes fast. <laughs> And so I have an awful mess on the door that I made and trying to learn to use it and cleaning it up, but it's all gonna get painted over and it's all okay. But we do appreciate them for sending us the cock gun. It's really, really nice. And we do like their products. It just, I used it for the wrong thing. And uh, we showed you a little bit of it. We'll be using it out in the farmhouse so. We will be using it in the farmhouse and on the roof. That's going to be good on the roof. You'll get that done in no time. Yeah. I mean, really, yeah, he'll get it done in no time. So we hope that you like the door. Uh, that's just to give me an idea. We haven't even, you know, we're so far from finishing and painting and patching. But I saw the bucket of paint, and it was still good. And I said, let me see if I will like it. So this will be a big example for me to live with for a little while before I do paint the cabinets, but we're doing demo and that, oh, I can't find it. 
Where is it? Oh! Right on above us. <laughs> That's all until then, y'all. And cooler on This a pause for relief Free pass You don't even have to ask to Be the cat in the sun Sun